think we are starting to zero in on something. Something happening here of substance in the mid-1700s. Fred Nolan felt that the money pit was engineered, that it was done by a disciplined group of individuals. From finding the owner of the legendary treasure located in the money pit to discovering the true meaning behind the curse of Oak Island, the Legina brothers have faced sheer horror in their hunt for gold. Let's dive into the mystery of Oak Island, where a seemingly innocent excavation turned into a gripping saga of hidden secrets and potential danger. In the past, a group of kids went on a casual excavation on an island off the coast of Nova Scotia. What initially began as a lighthearted adventure soon turned into a scene reminding us of a suspenseful movie, capturing the imagination of those involved and eventually the world. As the young excavators dug deeper into the earth, their anticipation grew with every discovery. Man-made stones and planks emerged, sparking excitement and visions of unearthing treasures from a bygone era of piracy. The idea of finding buried riches fueled their determination to unearth the secrets that lay beneath the island's surface. However, the expedition took an unexpected turn as their efforts revealed more than they bargained for. Planks continued to emerge, hinting at a deeper, more sinister secret concealed beneath the soil. Undeterred by the challenges, the young excavators continued until they reached a depth of 30 feet, at which point the enormity of their findings forced them to temporarily halt their efforts. One of the theories about the swamp is that the, the treasure ship was brought in, offloaded of treasure, and it either became grounded or they, for some reason they couldn't get the ship out. Surprisingly, the discoveries did not end with their stoppage. Other individuals took up the excavation, and with each 10 feet they dug, the mystery deepened. Additional platforms and strange objects came to light, adding layers to the mystery that surrounded Oak Island. The most alarming discovery, however, awaited them at a depth of 90 feet. Among the findings was a stone marked with mysterious engravings, capturing the attention and imagination of those involved. Yet, the true shocker lay in the unearthing of a booby-trapped shaft equipped with a foot tunnel leading to the ocean. Here, there's some, like it was, Cut. The question that lingered in the minds of those involved was, why would someone construct such a deadly trap, seemingly designed to lead unsuspecting individuals to a watery demise? This discovery brought forth disturbing implications. Was it the work of a deranged individual with sinister motives, attempting to execute acts of harm? Or could it be connected to the rumored curse said to afflict Oak Island, adding a supernatural layer to the unfolding mystery? Fear took over the air on Oak Island, as the quest for answers intensified. Despite the looming terror, the Oak Island team displayed unwavering determination in their chase of the elusive treasure. Undeterred by the ominous discoveries that added an extra layer of complexity to their already suspenseful journey. Oak Island, a quaint and seemingly unremarkable piece of land off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, holds a captivating allure that has drawn explorers, historians, and even former presidents for almost two centuries. Despite its beauty, the island is shadowed by the mysteries surrounding the famed Money Pit, a focal point of countless stories, books, and documentaries, weaving together legends of daring pirates, lost fortunes, and age-old mysteries. Recently, the interest surrounding Oak Island reached new heights with a truly astonishing discovery along its shores. As explorers delved into the island's chambers, they came upon a shaft rigged with a horrifying trap, complete with a tunnel leading to the ocean. The question that loomed large was, who would set up such a dangerous and potentially deadly trap? The deadly nature of this find naturally led to theories. Was it the handiwork of an individual with sinister intentions, seeking to cause harm or even commit murder? Alternatively, could there be a connection to the long-standing curse believed to be placed upon the island, adding a supernatural layer to the unfolding mystery? Oak Island, privately owned and situated in Lunenburg County, Nova Scotia, Canada, boasts a beautiful landscape adorned with a lush tapestry of trees connected to the mainland by a causeway. Surrounded by the tranquility of Mahone Bay, its closest neighbors are the rural community of Western Shore and the village of Chester. Well, Steve, what brought us to look you up was Lot 26 was owned by James Anderson. Correct. And according to this record here, it was sold to Samuel Ball in 1788. Mm -hmm. And what we're hoping to do is learn a little bit more about the background of James Anderson. However, beneath its unassuming exterior, lies a history cloaked in the veils of myth and legend. Originally home to vibrant red oak trees, the island underwent a transformation after a devastating infestation of black ants, giving rise to a landscape dominated by spruce trees and shrubs. This change in vegetation is just one facet of Oak Island's complex narrative, adding an interesting layer to its already mysterious persona. The recent shocking find on Oak Island has only added to the centuries-old allure and mystery that surrounds this mysterious place.
Beyond the tales of treasure hunters, the island is said to be haunted, with ethereal lights occasionally flickering in the darkness, casting an otherworldly glow upon its mysterious terrain. A persistent belief surrounds Oak Island, suggesting that the discovery of its hidden treasure is fated to occur only after the deaths of seven determined explorers. Historical accounts reveal that six individuals lost their lives while in pursuit of Oak Island's treasure during the 1700s, adding a tragic and mysterious dimension to its narrative. The island underwent a survey and was divided into three to four acre parcels in the 1700s, marking a period of increased interest and speculation about its hidden treasures. Interestingly, land transfer records had already referred to it as Oak Island. However, in 1776, a British cartographer renamed it Gloucester Isle, adding a historical layer to the island's identity. Author Darcy O'Connor, who delved into the island's treasure hunt, emphasizes that Oak Island has been associated with its name for centuries, reinforcing the deep-rooted connection between the island and the mysteries that surround it. The legendary tale of Oak Island's treasure hunt began in 1795 when Daniel McGuinness and two companions came upon a mysterious depression while exploring the island. Honestly, I was quite excited about the key cover that Gary found because if I can equate them to mundane things like farmers and tradesmen and things like that, you know, the utilitarian stuff. Believing it to be a potential hiding place for pirate riches, McGinnis convinced his friends to join him in excavating the area. Their efforts revealed oak logs, flagstones, and wooden platforms spaced at 10-foot intervals, marking the commencement of an unending quest for treasure that has captivated dedicated researchers and explorers for centuries. Now, let's delve into some notable discoveries that have come to light on Oak Island. Firstly, there are interesting accounts of shipwrecks. The marshy terrain on the island is believed to be the potential resting place of a deliberately sunken vessel, concealing its existence. This theory has sparked the imagination of many and adds a maritime dimension to the island's mysteries. Adding to the mystery is the discovery of a charred ship's timber, exhibiting signs of considerable strain, intensifying the mystery behind its concealment. The remnants of a ship, concealed beneath the island's surface, raise questions about its origin, purpose, and the circumstances that led to its mysterious burial. Should this theory prove accurate, it implies that a ship laden with treasure navigated the swampy waters of Oak Island, unloading its riches only to meet its demise upon departure. The suggestion is that the ship intentionally destroyed itself, erasing any evidence of its presence. A local blacksmith further supports this idea, placing the event in the 18th century and adding credibility to the theory. Moving on, bone fragments have emerged as a chilling development in the ongoing quest to unveil Oak Island's secrets. Human remains were discovered at a borehole, leaving behind a number of unanswered questions. The revelation of remains belonging to individuals of diverse ethnicities led to inquiries into Oak Island's past and the potential inhabitants who once lived there. They might have been part of a varied community, including settlers, laborers, or even pirates who once called the island home. I've always said, or always believed, that what's here on Oak Island is not just temporal wealth. Alternatively, the possibility exists that these individuals were victims of a crime and their remains have been concealed for centuries. Further analysis and testing of these fragments could shed light on their identities and the circumstances surrounding their presence on the island. Now, let's explore the third notable discovery on Oak Island, ancient manuscripts. A recent extraordinary find emerged from the island's depths. Buried 153 feet below the surface, beneath a layer resembling cement, a small piece of parchment was unearthed. The deliberate placement and concealment of this parchment pose a puzzling question. Why would someone go to such great lengths to hide it? One theory suggests that the parchment could be part of a collection of lost manuscripts attributed to none other than William Shakespeare. According to this interesting hypothesis, these manuscripts were secretly stashed on Oak Island by Francis Bacon, a prominent figure of the Renaissance era, known by some as the true author of Shakespeare's plays. Continuing with the captivating saga of Oak Island, the theory suggests that Francis Bacon may have chosen this remote island as a secure sanctuary to safeguard manuscripts, keeping them hidden from the prying eyes of others. Moving forward, a pivotal discovery on Oak Island is the Nolan's Cross, a significant milestone in the island's history. Comprising five colossal rocks arranged in the shape of a cross, with the sixth rock bearing the depiction of a human face and a sword at its center, this find has sparked numerous theories about the potential involvement of the Knights Templar in Oak Island's mystery. The Knights Templar, known for their medieval military order, have long been associated with legends of the Holy Grail and other mystical traditions. Engraved symbols on the rocks fuel speculation that the Knights Templar might have visited Oak Island 
and concealed their treasure there. Fred Nolan, a dedicated treasure hunter, made this remarkable find in the late 1970s after years of careful mapping of the island. I'm gonna say two things. One, which I've been saying a lot lately, let's put it in the line for carbon dating. Okay, we are. Uh... And what's the second thing I always say? The discovery of a mysterious coin adorned with a Templar cross near the money pit further strengthens the connection to the Knights Templar, known for amassing great wealth during their time. Next on Oak Island's list of remarkable discoveries are forging tools used in metalworking. The unearthing of these tools raises questions about the identities of those who used them and the nature of their mining activities on the island. Were they in search of precious metals or perhaps something even more valuable? Captain Kidd's lost treasure, another noteworthy discovery, the sixth on Oak Island's list, has stirred excitement within the treasure hunting community. Recently unearthed, a keyhole displaying a delicate floral pattern has sparked speculation that it may belong to a chest owned by Captain James Anderson, a legendary figure associated with the island's elusive treasure. Continuing our exploration of Oak Island's interesting history, local lore tells of Captain James Anderson allegedly losing three treasure chests near the island, with speculation that one remains hidden to this day. If the intricate floral-patterned keyhole does indeed belong to Anderson's chest, it could represent a major breakthrough in the ongoing quest for Oak Island's elusive treasure. Moving on to the seventh remarkable discovery, attention turns to Smith's Cove, where a wooden structure featuring Roman numerals in a U-shaped configuration was unearthed. This structure, discovered during a draining operation, dates back to 1769, a quarter century earlier than the famed Money Pit. Its presence hints at a potential connection to the original treasure shaft, deepening the mystery surrounding Oak Island. Researchers utilized dendrochronology, analyzing growth rings to approximate the age of the wooden structure, shedding light on its historical context. The discovery has fueled speculation about potential links to ancient societies, including the Romans. Lastly, our eighth discovery takes us to an episode of The Curse of Oak Island, titled Blood is Thicker. During this episode, Gary Drayton, armed with his trusty metal detector, scans items unearthed from one of the dig sites. Initially thought to be a significant find, upon closer examination, turns out to be a gold-plated button from a British military uniform dating back to the 17th or 18th century. These recent revelations, including the potential breakthrough tied to Captain James Anderson's lost chest, the Roman numeral's wooden structure at Smith's Cove and the gold-plated button from a British military uniform continue to captivate explorers and researchers alike. Each discovery adds new layers to Oak Island's enduring mystery, keeping the quest for its hidden treasures alive and well.